Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hi, welcome back. Uh, okay, so update. We did find a story. Uh, I do remember it now. It came back, and it's totally fucking racist. Uh, it, it does. Xenophobic. As, as Elliot just said, it really is anti-Semitic. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was a bit. I mean, it, it was it was an interesting story, but yeah. Yeah, it's it's obviously written by some people who don't like Jewish people. Yeah, so... Um, but yeah, no, I we do... We won't tell the story. Uh, so yeah, we're not going to tell it, but yeah, for those of you who are curious, it's called The Jew in the Bush. Yeah, and I don't I don't remember how I came across it, because I didn't even remember that I knew it. I thought I was just fucking with James. But and as like, he started to read it, I was like, oh my god, this, this is like coming back to me. I was like, what the hell? I knew it. I knew you weren't screwing with me. I knew it was real. Damn. Ha ha! Yeah, okay, and I agree. That is like pretty fucking elaborate. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Because like, <laughs> you you told it, you took like at least five minutes to tell it, and I was like, huh, nope, this has to be real. It is a German folk tale. So yeah, it was probably written during a not so kind time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. Probably people. because, uh, <laughs> yeah, the Germans were uh, not very kind to the Jewish people. Yeah. Believe it or not. Most everybody else who wasn't them, but especially Jewish people, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, like in the story, one thing that, that kind of struck Elliot and I was the fact that. The, the Jewish character in the story didn't even have a name. They just referred no. to him as the Jew. Yeah. And it's like, like uh, okay. Uh, okay. You're not going to give him a name? Okay. Yep. Well, then again. The main character didn't either. Oh, yeah. None of them did. But, but still, still the, he was the countryman. Yeah. The fact that it's like, <laughs> they could have said the German and the Jew, but no. Nope. So, yeah. Well, glad that's uh, squared away now. <laughs> Damn. I thought I was just fucking with James. Nope, nope, nope. Huh. I don't know how I found that shit. Yeah, I don't know. I, I can't remember. I think you told me somebody told it to you, or maybe you happened to find it one day. I don't know. Hmm. Well, it looks like you solved this puzzle here that I couldn't. Yeah. Nice job, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you oh. said... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Is that it? Any more? Uh, no! What? No! 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 Yeah, you said uh, you thought you heard me say my grandpa told me that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't... Yeah, <laughs> I doubt he would tell me that fucking shit. <laughs> but maybe, maybe some like fucking old shit he heard in Germany or some shit. Oh, oh, is it, was your grandpa from Germany? No, but he fought in World War Two in Germany. Oh, okay. Huh. So he fought for. Uh, he was an American soldier. Yes. Cool. Huh. Wow. Yep. Does he have any like really cool stories from back then? Uh, I only know one story because he did not want to fucking talk about that shit at all. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, the story was he used to drive like a like a Humvee, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, and one time they were driving at night, and I don't think they had headlights, and he drove his uh, commanding officer into a lake in the vehicle. <laughs> yeah, they're like, I mean, it wasn't like they were driving on roads or anything. And so, yeah, they drove into a lake barely, I guess. <laughs> that's the only story he'd ever tell anyone. Oh, uh, that's funny. I think he saw some shit, so... I, I think I, I did yeah, share this. Talk did, about it. I, I told you those about those military stories uh, uh, that I heard at that one convention, right? Maybe. I think I did last year. Yeah, no, I, I think I did. So I won't. I won't share it here. But oh, shit. <laughs> uh, it's probably in one of our older videos. You're nailing it, dude. You're doing great. What did I? What did I? Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, finally. Okay, we beat it. All right, so what thanks, next? Thanks, Austin. Uh, you can play one. Okay, thanks. See. Cost man. Oh, the battery's running low on the game. Okay, well, maybe this will be our last episode for now. Okay, it's it's five. I gotta feed the puppy. Can wind down. We could even do a short stream if you want to. But... <laughs> and the female comes home soon. <laughs> yeah, the female comes home soon. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, dude. You know, it's funny. I I remember. Um, you remember when we were playing. Uh, wait, hold on. Before Digimon, I... Digimon, Master, Digimon, all that sometimes. Uh, what should we do? Oh, hey, fun fact. I deleted my Facebook. Oh, oh yeah, you wanted to talk about that. Uh, Here, let's do it. Well, you said I should talk about it. Oh, right, right, right. I, right. Said, I suggested you. Right. Um. Here, let's do Amber Ford. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, no. Table tennis? Yeah. <laughs> do it. Table tennis, huh? Anyways, yeah, Elliot decided to delete his Facebook. Yep. Oh, it, it's been nice. It's it's like uh, everyone should delete their fucking Facebook, dude. Like, <laughs> social media just kind of like 
it can be stressful even if you don't think it's stressful so like after deleting it it's been very nice like i feel oh you have to jump up by the way oh oh i get it oh yeah. that's sick there you oh, go oh that is amazing yeah, this is i remember this level it's pretty cool i wonder how old this one is mm. wow i did take a table tennis class in college that was pretty fun yeah there's this one. Ooh. Ooh. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. So what happens when I lose all the points? Do I die? Yeah, it'll come down and hit you. Oh, I. All oh, right, because it's a shell, of course. And when you win, it'll hit the P block, which means you can run to the right. Man, see this. God, I love. I know, dude. Like this, this is why I like this game. This is. These are the best parts of Mario Maker. Just finding the non-traditional bad. Uh, fuck. Levels. Okay, if you hit, if you get hit while I'm smart, you're dead. <sighs> Come on, James. Harness your college table tennis skills. Ooh. Anyways, yeah, so, um, what's wrong with social media? Oh, just, it, it's stressful, dude. Like, uh, okay, nice. Dealing with other... <laughs> oh, Samba! Oh, hello, ladies. <laughs> dealing with other people and stuff. Everyone's, like, trying to post all their crap no one cares about, you know what I mean? Just like, okay. Um, yeah, and, and I mean, there's a lot of like echo chambers. Like, you'll get shown what Facebook thinks you want to see. Mm. So. But you said you said that like you feel like you've been happier since you deleted your Facebook? Uh, sure, a little bit, I guess. Just like less stressed. Less stressed, huh? How does it stress? I'm, I'm a little confused though. How, did, how has it stressed you it's out? It's not like actively stress. It's, it's more like you go on Facebook and you see some shit and you're just like, oh my god, I don't. Like, people are so fucking dumb. I don't want to see this crap, you know? Or like in your case, you, you probably get annoyed at people venting over crap that happens to them in everyday life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, why do I care about this? I don't. Why should I worry? Why should I care? Basically. Yeah, I may not give a damn. Facebook can suck on my dick. <laughs> In the words of Billy Joel from Oliver and Company. <laughs> Those were the lyrics, right? Um, you know, I actually, I haven't used Facebook much recently either. Not, I haven't like chosen to not use it. I just haven't really cared as much. And I don't know if it's been... Try that? Oh, oh sorry. My bad. It's your turn. Try it then. Oh, whoops. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you gotta hit the minus button. Minus? Yep, minus. Then you go to starred courses. Is that where we are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I want to try this. It's funny. Um, this is actually something I wanted to bring up. I saw this video uh -huh. with Elon Musk in it. Musky boy. Yeah, Elon Musk. Uh, the and uh, he was talking about how. Um, this one rings a bell too. How social media like creates false expectations of of people like. Like, this is something I already kind of knew about, but people often tend to compare themselves to their Facebook friends. Because people people generally put up their best pictures, their best-looking pictures. And because Oh, I do remember this. This level is so cool. Oh, wow. This is badass. Mm -hmm. So, because people put up pictures of them only when they're at their best, mm -hmm. um, they people other people start to feel worse by comparison like they feel like oh wow this person always looks nice and it looks like he's always smiling and always happy mm -hmm. oh i feel shitty by comparison i must I've be heard that. I've heard a lame that well. person when really in reality that's just completely unrealistic oh, shit. this is really cool yeah so yeah for the if any of you like compare yourselves to people like that just don't yeah just don't do yourself a yeah. favor and don't luckily i mean i, I wasn't doing that um, uh-huh just like I don't really give a shit. <laughs> no, you do not. You give no shits. Um, I I give some shits. Just... You you give much fewer shits than the average person. What the hell? Oh, that's awesome. Is that a glitch? I don't know. Okay, that one was a freebie. I give less shits than the average bear. Yeah. Hey poo poo. Hey poo poo. Hmm. Wow, this is badass. I don't know, I've just been kind of bored with Facebook. The only time I ever go onto Facebook is to advertise whenever some new Royal Goob series begins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, if I want to share, like, hey, Donkey Kong 64 has begun. Come watch us. Yay! Then, like, maybe one or two of my friends like it, but it doesn't make a difference at all. <laughs> this is a cool level. Yeah, dude, I like this. Probably why I started. Aw, <laughs> oh, sweet. Oh. Number one! 
I'm Luigi, number one. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, so what's up next? More costume stuff? I think that's it for now, dude. Really? Yes, I, I would like to say, even though we brought up that fucking super racist story. Uh, <laughs> yeah, didn't remember it. Uh, yeah, dude. Anti-Semitism will not be tolerated on this channel. Very true. So Basically, if, no prejudice in general. Yeah, if you comment some like shady shit, you will get banned. But uh, on that note, uh, please you know. please like our video yeah, regardless. Yeah, please subscribe. We're gonna have fun. We'll probably play this again before the uh, game comes out. Yeah, yeah, probably. And then we'll definitely be playing Super Mario Maker Two. For oh sure. god, yeah! I can't wait to play as Cat Mario. Yeah, Cat Von D, tattoo shop, baby. What? All right, bye. Got him. <laughs>